Good evening and welcome to the digital platform of the Delhi Guardian. Delhi's former Deputy Chief Minister Mani Sisodia has been sent to the judicial custody until April 5, 2023 in connection with the money laundering case. This case relates to alleged irregularities in the framing and implementation of the excise policy of the National Capital Territory of Delhi. The Enforcement Directorate produced Mani Sisodia before the Rouse Avenue Court on this Wednesday at the end of his custodial remand period and the agency did not seek further remand. Instead, they moved an application for judicial custody which was granted by Special Judge M.K. Nagpal. During the hearing, Sisodia requested permission to carry some religious and spiritual books during his judicial custody which the court granted on the condition that he move an application in this regard. In the last hearing, the court emphasized that the investigation into an ED case is a complicated affair and is bound to take time considering the intricacies of the case and the huge volume of records or data that needs to be analyzed. The ED had earlier claimed that Sisodia had made conscious efforts to destroy evidence of the offense of money laundering and that there was a conspiracy behind framing the excise policy. The agency argued the policy was brought out for an extraordinary profit margin for wholesalers that the margin of 12% of wholesale profit margin to private entities was never discussed in the GOM meeting. The probe agency also revealed the meeting between Vijay Nair and K. Kavita and that there was a political understanding between the CM Mani Sisodia and K. Kavita who also met Vijay Nair. Sisodia was arrested by the CBI on February 26, 2023 in its ongoing investigation of a case related to alleged irregularities in framing and implementation of the excise policy of GNCTD. On March 9, he, uh, he was arrested by the ED in the same case. I am Sagarika Gautam and thank you for watching and stay tuned to the Delhi Guardian for the latest news and updates.